اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ and welcome to another one of your G1 classes I hope and pray that everyone today is doing well and I really do hope that this lesson is beneficial for each and every one of you. Um, and Jazakallah to everyone who made it on time today. So before we do start our class, let's just go through a few rules and procedures. Make sure that your uh, video icon has a red line across it. So make sure that your video is turned off at all times. Um, please do double check that you are joining in with the correct IDs. Um, you will be put in the waiting room if you come in with the wrong or incorrect ID. Um, and again, if there are any questions that you have or any issues, do not hesitate to email us at ukquranclass at gmail.com. Um, and without any further ado, we'll get started. So um, today we will be covering um, assimilation and there are two parts to this rule. Um, the part one is Adgham Gamil and part two you will learn in tomorrow's lesson inshallah. So um, as you can see today is the 12th of November, it's our class 39 and um, for today the lesson that we're going through is assimilation, um, Idgham Gamil and you will find out what that is in a second. But before we do go into the lesson, um, co-host, may I please have a student on the mic to recite the starting prayer for the class? Yes, Islam wa I'm going to call the G1048. G1048. Assalamu alaikum. G1048, Assalamu alaikum. So we try G1021. Okay, yeah. G1021, Assalamu alaikum. G1021, Assalamu alaikum. Okay, which one did you say that was? G1021? Yeah. Um, they're not in the meeting. Okay, G1048 is in the meeting. Okay, G1048. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Shall I call another student then? Um, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, alhamdulillah, jazakallah for asking. Okay, would you like to start off with Tawood and Tasmiya and recite the starting prayer for me, please? A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim Bismillahirrahman ar-rahim Rabbi alimni maahu wa khairun in daqa Perfect, Jazakallah. And can you also recite this translation for me? Oh my Lord, teach me what is best for me in your knowledge. Perfect. Thank you very much, Jazakumullah. Jazakallah. khair. Okay, so now that we've um, done the starting prayer, um, we are going to move on to what we're going to be covering today. So as I said, we're going to be covering assimilation, which in Arabic is also known as idram, okay? And um, as it says in the paragraph, idram basically just means to merge or assimilate, okay? Um, I'll read through this paragraph for you. However, I will go into depth and the proper understanding in a second once we're done, yeah? So it says that many words of the Holy Quran carry a quescent letter, letter between a mutaharik and a mushaddad letter. So when they say quescent letter, we're saying a letter that's got a sukoon or a jazm on top, yeah? These letters are assimilated in accordance with the rules of recitation. So at present, it is important to know that there are two broad categories of idram. So there are two types of idram that we need to know at this point. One is idram kamil and one is idram nagis. Um, and today we will be focused on focusing on the first part, which is idram kamil, where you completely assimilate. Okay. So with idram nagis, you partially assimilate. So you don't do the full assimilation, only half of it. Partially assimilate. And with idram kamil, it's complete. So all of it you assimilate fully. And 
when we talk about assimilation, we're saying that the question letter, so the letter that's got the jism or the sukun on top, is ignored. So it's fully forgotten and um, omitted while in the second category. So this might not really make sense to you right now, but let's just quickly read through Adram Kamil and I will go through a few examples to help you understand this in further depth. So um, Idram Kamil basically is when there is a lam or ra mushaddad, so a lam with a tashdeed or a ra with a tashdeed, if they come after a noon sakin, so here in this case you can see there's a noon sakin, and there is a lam mushaddad um, appearing after it, bear in mind it can be a lam or a ra mushaddad. If a lam or ra mushaddad appears after a noon sakin, so a noon with a jism, or tanween, um, so as you can see here, this is a dhamma thing, so this is a tanween of dhamma then no nasal sound will be assimilated into the next letter. Only one stroke of tanveen will be used in the assimilation. So what we're saying here is that in theory, if we look at it this way, if we ignore that this part was even there, okay, let's say this part of this word wasn't there, and we were just looking at this first part here, we can see there is a meme with a kasra underneath, right? And there is a noon with a jism. And there is a noon sakin, so we know we will be joining these two letters together. We will say min. However, as you can see, if we do look at these letters, we can see there is a lam with a mushaddad, a lam with a um, shadda, so a tashdeed, a lam mushaddad. And um, the rule is that we will join the mean with the lam rather than joining the mean with the noon. So we will totally ignore the noon. So that's what we were talking about here when we said that the question letter is ignored. So the letter with the jism is ignored here, all right? An easy way to remember this is that a, uh, a tashdeed is more powerful or more stronger than a jism, okay? We know when we join letters together that if there is a tashdeed, we put pressure on it, yeah? We say that you need to put pressure on it, put more time, emphasize on that letter, put more emphasis on it. But if there is a letter with just a jism, it's like a very quick thing. You just join it quickly just for one second, right? So here we're saying that since the shdeed is stronger than the jism, the meme will decide to join to the letter that's got the tashdeed on top, okay? Even though there is a letter with the jism, since the tashdeed letter is more, the mushaddad letter is more stronger, um, the meme will join to the lam, okay? The mean will join to the lam because the lam is the letter that has got the tashdeed on top, right? So in this case, when we're joining these letters together, and if I go take you through this example, we're saying we've got a mean with a noon sakin. However, we do know we're now ignoring this letter. We're fully ignoring this letter now because there is a lam mushaddad. So a letter that's got a stronger sign on top. So now we will join the mean with the lam. We will say milla. All right, here you can see I'm putting pressure on it. Milla, since it's got a tashdeed on top. And just to finish this off, we will say, we've got a dal with a dhamma on top, a noon sakin, so a noon with a jism. So we will say, dun ka. I'm gonna say dun ka over here, as that is one of the rules that you say the noon sakin from your nose, but you don't need to worry about it at this stage. You haven't learned that rule yet, so it's absolutely fine. If you say dunka, there is no problem with that. Of course, once you do learn the rule, then do try and apply that rule to when you're reciting the Quran, yeah? So just quickly, in green, they've shown here that the meme is joining to the lam. As you can see, there is no noon here, because we know in the real example, there is a noon, but in this example, when we're reading, it says that there is no noon. And why are they showing no noon here? That is because the noon has been fully ignored. So just a quick recap I'm gonna give you is that if um, there is a noon sakin, so whenever you come across a noon sakin, always remember, you need to look at the letter after that. Is it alam with a tashdeed? Or um, is it alam with a tashdeed? Or is it a, um, a ra with a tashdeed? You ask yourself, is it a lam with a tashdeed or a ra with a tashdeed, okay? And if it is, then you need to make sure to assimilate, as in fully ignore the noon and just join the letter to the tashdeed. And we don't need to forget that I, I just mentioned noon sakin to you right now. 
but we also need to focus if there is a tanveen okay remember tanveen is like two strokes of dhamma two strokes of fatha and two strokes of kasra okay so in both cases whenever you come across a noon sakin or a tanveen so in this case there is a tanveen here you need to take a look at the letter after it all right so if we just take a look at this example here for you um we have a ra with a dhamma dhammatain on it i should say the uh, tanveen of dhamma initially we will say run to this yeah we will say run however now if you look at the letter next it's a lam mushaddad lam with a tashdid and we know if there is a lam or ra mushaddad afterwards then we know that we have to um give no nasal sound at all we're ignoring that the um there was a sound of a noon there before okay so we're saying rulla you can notice i'm not saying runla i'm saying rulla i'm getting rid of one stroke of the tanveen and i'm only left with one dhamma when i'm joining these two together and you can clearly see that in the example here rulla there is no tanveen here there is only one stroke of dhamma okay and that's because that other stroke of dhamma was fully ignored we ignore that as you've got a tashdid which is much more strong in this case so if i look at this example for you now you have a kha with a fatha and a ya sakin um so when we join it together i'm going to say khai remember this is one of your soft elongation rules as well yeah um elongate it for just about more than a second and we just went through this part rulla kum so kaf with the dhamma and mim sakin so mim with the jazm kum khai rullakum okay so that's the example um co-host may i please have a student on the mic to help me with these recitations okay um uh, there is a little message if you can just check it before that and uh, i'll call the next student is g1066 g1066 yep can i have you on the mic please g1066 G one zero six six. She's not in the meeting right now. Oh, okay. G one zero six one. G one zero six one. Assalamu alaikum. G one zero six one. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Uh, may we have another student? Well, another one. G one zero two one. G one zero two one is not in the meeting. G one one two seven. G one one two seven. Assalamu alaikum. G one one two seven. Assalamu alaikum. There with the hands up as well. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum salam warahmatullah. How are you today? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. I'm busy here, you. So um, before we move on, can we please make sure that everyone has muted themselves apart from this one student I have with me right now and make sure that there is no background noise, okay? All right, so G1127, let's go through these examples. I know I've gone through these two already, but can I still ask you to go um, to um, well, help me recite this with you, yeah? Okay, so as you can see, there is a meme with a kasra underneath. Yes? And yes. there is a noon sakin. However, we can see there is a lam with a tashdeed. Which letter will the noon join with? Uh, will, will the meme join with, sorry? A uh, noon. So, yeah. So, this is what we were learning through today. Don't worry. Um, let's just take a quick look at it. Um, we said that if there is a noon sakin... Mm -hmm. So as you can see that there is a, a noon sakin, however, the letter after that has got a tashdeed. And remember, I said tashdeed is the letter that is strong, right? So you put more pressure on that letter. And so the meme will decide to join with the lamb 
because Nam has got a tashdeed on top and tashdeed um, holds, it's more strong and therefore you will ignore the noon with the jism, okay? So rather than joining the mean with the noon, you are now joining it with the lam, okay? So it's almost as if you're ignoring the noon, you're ignoring it's there, all right? So if you join the mean with the lam or shiddat for me, please, how will you do that? Milla. Perfect. Milla. That's really nicely recited. As you can see, we fully ignored the noon. And just remember that it's always the lam or the ra mushaddad. As we read here today, is the lam or the ra mushaddad. If that comes after the noon, then we will fully forget the noon. Okay? So that's okay. why we fully forgot the noon because it's the lam. Lam, ra mushaddad. So it's the lam appearing after the noon sucking. So that's the whole reason why we are forgetting the noon here. Okay? So okay. if you finish this example off, you have a dal with a dhamma. And a noon sakin, how would you join that together? What? So a, a dal with a dhamma and a noon sakin, if we join it together, how do we do that? Uh, dun. Yeah, perfect. Dun, really nice. And in the end, you have to so If we go through this one more time, milla dunka. Perfect. Very nicely recited. Okay, let's look at this next example here together. You have a kha and a ya sakin. So a ya with a jism. When we join these two letters together, how do we join them? Do you know? Um, yes. Okay, do you want to try? Yep, perfect. Smiley. Amazing, very nice. So um you are you, when you when you join these two together, you will prolong it for just a bit, okay? So and just remember we can see there is a tanveen here, okay? But remember, Allah Mushaddad has come after it. So you will forget one of the strokes. As you can see, one of the Dhamma strokes, this one's not there anymore. So you ignore it. And you just join the ru with the lam. How would you do that? Perfect. Very nice. And you're putting very nice pressure on the lam as well. Well done. So say that. For you. Amazing. Well done. Very nicely recited. Okay, let's just look at this next example here now. There is a me with a kasra. And we can see there is a noon with a jism. But what letter has appeared after it? You tell me. Ra. Ra. And remember, it's lam or ra. If the lam or ra was added. So if there is a lam or a tashdeed, or a ra with a tashdeed that appears after the noon sakin, then that means that you do what? Do you fully ignore the noon? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. So now you're doing the mean with the raw shaddad. Yeah? So how will you do that? Okay. Perhaps can you see if there is anyone else? I knew I did. Okay, can please um mute all those other students that are unmuted right now? Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't you do a little bit of the noon sound? Okay, so that's a very good question. Um, you don't do a noon sound here because we're fully ignoring the noon sakin here. Okay, just remember um, if the letter after the noon sakin is a ra or a lam with a tashdeed on top, so a ra with a tashdeed or a lam with a tashdeed, in this case you can see there is, then we will fully ignore the noon. That means you will give no noon sound. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That means you will okay, get. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. Listen, listen.
Okay, um, G1104, are you still with me? So it's only those letters that um, when the moon's fully silent? Sorry, could you repeat that for me, please? Is it only the noon letter when the um, noon and Ra and noon and Lam when the noon is fully silent? Yeah, exactly. You're very right. So you have the noon with the jism, but it's only with the Ra mushaddad or a La mushaddad. When we say mushaddad, we mean those letters have got the shadda on top or the shadda on top. It's only these two letters, Ra or Lam, if they come after noon with the jism or noon sakin, mm -hmm. then the noon goes fully silent. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much Thank for that. Thank you. Jazakallah. No problem. Okay, co-host. Um, it seems we've lost the student. So may I please have another student on the mic? Can I have my turn? It's very noisy on the background, but I don't think um, she's doing it. Okay. Me... Next one is G one one two one 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 two. G one one two. G1112, did you say? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, G112. G1112. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I said it. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you today? Alhamdulillah, that's great to hear. I'm good, Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much for asking. Jazakumullah. Okay, so we were just going through this example. Um, so just follow along with me here. Um, do you know the rule we were going through today? We said that we will fully ignore the noon with the, with the jazam on top, yeah? We are fully ignoring the noon with the jazam. Why? Because the letter after that has got a ra mushaddad. Okay, and um, just remember, if there is a ra with a tashdeed or a lam with a tashdeed that comes after a noon sakin, so a noon with a jism or a tanveen, then that means we ignore the noon. So we give no nasal sound. We give no sound of the noon. So when we are joining, we are joining the meme with the ra rather than joining it with the noon. So can you join the meme with the ra for me, please? G one 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 two. You are now muted. Can you hear me? All right, co-host. Uh, maybe move on to another student, please. Uh, she's still there, I think. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, G one zero eight seven. G1087. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, so um, you must have been hearing me saying to the last student to join the meme with the Ra together, with the Ra Mushaddad. How would you join it? You miss out the noon with the sakin absolutely very nicely said so you miss the um, meme with the you miss the noon with the sakin um so how would you join it and you show me mirror uh, that was really nice uh, i'm so sorry for um these background noises it's okay um so children just keep opening their mics yeah Okay, that's fine. They won't be able to do that now. Okay. Um, so sorry to everyone for the inconvenience that's caused. Um, so let's just, um, going back to the student, I'm so sorry. That was really nicely joined together, by the way. Um, you knew that you were getting rid of the noon sakin fully because the Ra Mushaddad has appeared after, yeah? Yeah. We know which two letters, if they appear after the noon sakin, um, which are those two letters when we will fully ignore the noon? Lam and Ra. Perfect. Very nice. So now we've joined Mirra, and now we're going to join the Ra to the Ba Mushaddad with the Kasra. How would you do that? Mirabbi. 
Perfect. And could you just finish that off for me, please? Him. Perfect. So if we go through that together, Mir Rabbi him. Mir Rabbi him. Perfect. Now, just quick question. When I was saying Mir Rabbi him, did you hear the noon at all? No. No. So this is the thing about Idram Kamil. We are fully ignoring the noon over there, yeah? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's just go through this, through this example with you. Um. There is a ra with a fatha and hamza with the damma, and you should be joining it to the vowel sakin. How would you do this first part? Va'u. Very nice. Well done. That was really nicely recited. As you can see, you knew that this was a mud letter. You know, but extend, it's also known as extended elongation, the rule that you guys have done. You're going to prolong this for two seconds. Ra'u. Ra'u. Very nice. And we have a fa with a tanveen. However, here's the thing, the letter after it is a ra mushaddad. How would you join that together? Furra. Amazing, well done, nicely recited. So we're saying furra. As you can see, the student has removed one of the strokes. He clearly knows that because there is a tanveen and the letter after that is a ra mushaddad, we will have to remove one of the strokes. And that means you're only left with one dhamma. As you can see here, only one dhamma. So ra'u-furra. Ra'u-furra. Perfect. And can you just complete the last part for me, please? Limon. Amazing. Very nicely recited. Jazakumullah. Um, let's do two more examples with you. Um, how would we join this letter together? So we can see there is a noon with a sakin, a noon with a sakun, so noon sakin. However, the letter after that is Alam Mushaddad. So how will you join it together? Allah. Very nice. Very nicely done, mashallah. So you knew that there is a noon sakin, but we know those two letters, Lam or Ra Mushaddad. If they come after a noon sakin, that means we fully get rid of the noon. And here we are fully getting rid of the noon. There is no hint of a noon sound, of a nasal sound whatsoever. And very nicely, you elongated it at the end as well because you knew there is a blank lift right with the alarm. So that's very nicely recited. Let's move on to this example. How will you join the me with the dhamma to the sword sakin? Mus. Very nice. Remember, the sword has got like a thick sound. So mus. Try and say that for me again. Mus. Very nice. There is a fa with the fatha. Um, so musfa. Well done. And now there is a tanveen. So there is a raw with a tanveen of a fatha, fatha tain. And you are joining it with a lam mushaddad. How would we say that? Musfalla. I mean, musfalla. Okay, let's just let's just try joining these two together first. Valla. Well done. Rolla. Remember raw. You give sort of a round mouth here, yeah? Rolla. Rolla. Very nice. And how do you finish this off for me? Salu. I mean, salu. Okay, so you nicely elongated it. But just remember, any letter with a tashdeed on top, you put pressure on it. So we're saying, Zalu. Zalu. Nice. So if we go through that again, Mosfa. Musfa. Rolla zolu. Rolla zolu. Very nice. Very nicely recited. Jazakumullah. Thank you very much for your time. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Allah peace. Okay, may a uh, student, may, um, sorry, co host, may I please have another student to the mic? Yes, we can have the next one is G1042. G1042. Assalamu alaikum. G1042. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, alhamdulillah. Thank you very much for asking. Um, we're just going to go through this example together, okay? Are you understanding the rules so far? Excuse me. Um, I can't see the screen. It's all black. Okay, co-host, can you see the screen? 
Yes, I can see the screen. Okay. Um, um, you can. I guess you can still not see the screen. G one zero four two. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. We'll come back to you um, and ask your mum quickly what's gone wrong with your phone. Okay. 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 Can, can, you, can you just write that ID down so we can come back to her? Okay. Can I call the other one, please? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. G one zero two zero. G one zero two zero. Assalamu alaikum. G one zero two zero. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, that's fine. May I please have another student? G one zero three five. G one zero three five. Assalamu. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Okay, now we're just going to go through this example here. Um, are you understanding the rules so far? Yeah. Perfect. So we're just looking at examples where we know that we will fully ignore the noon with a jism. Yeah, noon sakin. We fully ignore that noon sakin. So why do we ignore the noon sakin? That's because the letter after that is the ra with the mushaddad. If whenever there is a noon sakin or a tanveen, the letter after that, lam or ra mushaddad, comes, appears after those let uh, after those letters with that sign on top, so jazam or tanveen, then um, we fully ignore the noon. So we know that we're now going to be joining the meme with the ra rather than joining it with the noon. So how will you do that for me? very nice so you fully recited the whole word okay very nice if we just break that down quickly you said very nice so you we can all everyone at home please do follow along um you can see when i was saying you couldn't even hear the noon even though it's there we are fully ignoring it right and when we are joining the row, so the row jazz, and when we're joining it to that, we are elongating it. And this student really nicely elongated it as well. Just remember, ha is a letter. Its sound comes from your throat. Okay. So try not to say hilla. Say hillahi. Say that for me. Hillahi. Okay. And one more time, let's try saying the ha from your throat. Okay. Hillahi. Hillahi. Okay, very nice try. Jazakumullah. Okay, let's look at this one, uh, this example here now together. You can see there is a ra with the fatha and you're joining it with a ba with the tanween. How would you join it? Rabbi. Good. Rabbi. And we're also joining it to the ra with the tashneed. Rabbi ir ra. Okay, so in this one, it's almost as if you're joining three letters together because you're joining the ra with the ba and the ba to the ra. Okay, so you're going to say, ra bir ra. What, I'm not, what I'm not saying is, ra bin ra, because that would be wrong. I know there is a tanween. However, the letter after that is a ra. So remember, we fully get rid of one stroke. Yeah? So we say, ra bir ra. Ra bir ra. Perfect. And how would you finish it off for me? Heemin. Perfect. So if you go through that again, Rabbir Rahimin. Rabbir Rahimin. Very nice. Um, let's just look at this next example together. You have um, an alif with a fata on top, a noon sakin. However, the letter after that has got a tashdeed. So which letter will you join the alif to? The noon sakin or the lam with tashdeed? Lam with tashdeed. Perfect. Very nice. Remember, lam with a tashdeed, ra with a tashdeed. Those are the letters you're joining it with. That means you're fully ignoring the noon sakin and you're giving no nasal sound whatsoever. So how will you join that together? Allah. Okay, and just remember, very nicely joined because you put pressure on the lam, very nice. But just remember, any letter that has got a fatha, the ma'o on it, you only elongate it for one second, okay? So try not to say Allah, just say Allah. Allah. 
Very nice. So it's a very quick thing, just for one second. And um, we're joining the vowel with the scene. How would we do that? Whis. Well done. And would you like to just finish off this one for me, please? Wistakamu. Very nice. Um, just remember, when you are saying this, you will elongate it for two seconds. So you say, Wistakamu. And we're elongating it for two seconds. Why? Because vowel is one of those madda letters, those huruf um, al letters, extended elongation, yeah? Um, where you, where there is a vowel with a um, jazm, so vowel sakin, and the letter before that has got a dhamma on top, yeah? That means you will elongate it for two seconds. So just repeat after me. Wistaqamu. Wistaqamu. Very nice. If we just go through that again. Um, Very nicely recited. Let's just look at this example here now. You have a um, ba with a fata and a ha sakin. How will you join that together? Ba. Very nice, very nice. And just remember the ha, that sound comes from your throat. So let's try that again together. Bah. Bah. Very nice. Then you have a ra with a kasra tain, so a tanveen of kasra. And you're joining it to the lam. So does it mean that you get rid of the lam with the tashtid, by the way, sorry. So does it mean that you get rid of one tashtid, one tanveen stroke? Do you get rid of one of the kasra strokes? Um, I didn't hear you. Can you please say that again? Okay, sorry. I'll repeat that again for you. Just remember, if there is a noon sakin or a tanveen, right? With a noon sakin, we fully ignore the sound of the noon. With the tanveen, a letter that's got the double stroke of those signs, you still ignore the noon. But in this case, you fully take out one stroke and you're only left with a ra with a kasra because here we're taking one of the strokes away. And why are we taking one of the strokes away? That is because the lam, there is a lam with a tashdeed after that. So there needs to be a lam with a tashdeed and a ra with a tashdeed afterwards, okay? For you to take those one stroke away. So when we join it together, how will we join this together? Well done. And just join these three letters for me, please. Very nice. That was a very hard one, by the way. And you did that very nicely. Um, so I'll just repeat that once again for everyone and everyone at home, follow along. All right. That's how we would say it. So Jazakumullah, thank you very much for your time. Okay, co-host, may I please have another student student to the mic? Alafiz. Yes, we can have G1061. G1061, assalamu alaikum. G1061, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Chikun aap ka kya hai hai? I'm very good, alhamdulillah. Tazakumullah for asking. Okay, so when we are joint, when we are reading this, let's go through this together. You have a fa with a fata. So repeat after me, we will say fa. Fa. Very nice. How will you say a meme with a fata? Ma. Very nice. Now you can see there is a noon jism, so a noon sakin, so a noon with a jism. And the letter after that is a ra mushaddad, so a ra with a tashtid. Will you join the meme with the noon or will you join it with the ra? With the ra. Very nice. Because we know a tashtid is more powerful than a jism. So here the meme will rather join to a letter that's more powerful, okay? So how will you do that? Mara. Very nice, very nicely recited. And then how will you join the raw with the ba? Ba mushaddad. Rabba. Okay, very nice. You put pressure on it, but just remember there is a dhamma. So you're giving an u sound. Rabbu. Yeah, well done. So repeat after me. Rabbu. Rabbu. Very nice. And how will you say these two letters? Kuma. 
Very nice. And just remember, ma is elongated for two seconds. You stretch the sound of the meme out, you say. Ma. Very nice. Yeah, you, uh, you elongated that. So if we just go through this example, we say, Fama rabbukuma. Fama rabbuka. Kuma. Kuma. Very nice. Very nicely recited. And um, just remember, you put more pressure on the ra as well. Because the ra and ba, you put pressure on it because they got the shteed, yeah? Let's just quickly look at the next example together. You have a um, sheen with a kasra. How would we say that? Mm. Very nice. You have a ha with a fatha. How will we say that? Ha. Very nice. So good. You elongated it because there was a blank lift there. So we say she ha. She ha. Very nice. Um. And we know there is a bar with a tanbeen on top, right? So we know that the letter afterwards has got a... Uh, the, the letter afterwards is a ra mushaddad, as in the ra with a tashtid on top, yeah? So we will get rid of one of these strokes. So we're getting rid of one of it, yeah? And we're only left with one fatha. So we're joining the ba with the ra mushaddad. How will we do that? Ra. Very nice. And just finish this example off for me, please. Sadan. Okay. So you said gave a right sound for the sa. So good, well done. But just remember, any letter that's got a tashtid on top, it's only those letters you put the pressure on. On the dal, there is no tashtid. So you cannot say sodda. You're not joining it. You just say sodan. Yeah? Say that for me. Sadan. Very nice. So if we go through this whole example... She ha barra. She bar. Okay, let's go bit by bit. She ha. She ha barra. Barra. Sudden. Sudden. Very nice. And um, let's just look at two more examples with you. Um, here there is a cough. Um, with a dal, with a jism, yeah? As you can see. There is no noon with a jism. But my main point of telling you this is that the letter after that is still a tashdeed, okay? So in the top example, if I just explain to you guys again, in the top example, we saw if there was a noon with a noon sakin or a um, tanveen, and the letter after that was a la mushadad or a ra mushadad, as you can see in this example here, that means we're totally not giving a nasal sound. We're fully ignoring the noon sakin. We're forgetting it's there. Or we are getting rid of one stroke of the fata damma, um, fata damma so the mean we're getting rid, getting rid of one stroke. Here, they're showing us some other examples of merging. They're showing us other examples where you will forget the letter with the jism fully. So here we can see there is a letter, dal, sakin. So the dal has got a jazam on top, but the letter after that has got a tashtid. And that was the whole main reason um, that was the whole main reason why in the start I told you that the shteed is more powerful than a jism. Just remember when that whenever you come across in the Quran, there is a jism. And if the letter after that is a tashtid, you will forget the letter that's got the you for, you'll forget the letter that's got the jism on top. And you will join the letter with the mushaddad letter instead. So with the letter that's got the shteed. Right. So in this case, we know there is a dal with a jism. However, we can see that the ta, the letter after that, has got a tashtid. So if you try joining the qaf and ta for me, please. Ta mushaddad. Sorry, try that again for me. Kata. Okay. Very nice. You didn't join it with the dal. That's a good thing. But just remember... Any letter with the tashtid, you put pressure on it. So repeat after me. Very nice. Very nicely repeated. And since we're joining these two letters together, it's got a tashtid. So we're saying, beya. Say that for me. So, uh, and then how will you say this letter at the end? Very nice. So we're saying, 
the Bajina. Very nice, mashallah. And if you just look at one last example with you here, as you can see, Alif with a Fatha, how will we say that? Ha. Very nice. And you can see there is a Ha with a Fatha, and you will think that you're joining with the Da, but remember, we know the Da has got a Jazm. However, the Tashdeed is stronger. And the letter after that has got a tashdeel on top. So rather than joining the ha to the ta, we're going to now join it to the um, this simple ta with the uh, ta mushaddad. We're so joining it with the ta that's got the tashdeel on top. So we're saying ha tu. Ha tu. Very nice. So let's do that as a whole. A ha tu. A ha tu. Very nice. Jazakallah for, um, for your time. Jazakallah. Take care. Okay, co-host, may I please have another student to the mic? Yes, we can have next one, G1084. G1084, assalamu alaikum. Okay, so that's uh, G1084. G1084, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good, Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, so um, let's just look at more examples. Remember, we're not looking at the Idram Kamil rule right now. We're just looking at places, other places in the Quran where there is no Nun Sakin, but you still fully ignore the letter. Okay, just like in these last examples, we fully ignored the Dal with the Jism. We fully ignored the Ta with the Jism. We're going to be looking at more examples together, okay? So let's look at the first example, right? You can see there is a qaf with a dhamma and a lam with a jism. So initially you will say, okay, now we're joining these two together. But just remember, if the letter afterwards has got a tashdeed on top, you will forget that the la that letter with the jism existed. You will ignore, okay? You will ignore that letter. So rather than joining the qaf with the lam, you are now joining it with the? Yeah. Very nice, because Ra is the letter that's got the on top. So how will you join that for me? Kara. Yeah, very nice. Just remember, Qu. You're giving a Qu sound because it's got a Dhamma. So try that again. Qurra. Qurra. Very nice. And the Ra, Mushaddad is joining now with the Ba, Mushaddad that's got Kasra underneath. How will you join these two letters together? Rabbi. Very nice. So if we do that as a whole, we say Qurrabi. Qurrabi. Very nice. Now, if we look at this example, um, you can see there is a noon with a fatha. How will we say it? No. Yeah, and it's joining to the kha. So how will you join it? No. Very nice. We're joining it to the kha because kha is is a second letter, so it's got a jism on top, or a sukun, yeah? And you can also see that there is a lam, dhamma, which is initially going to join to the qaf, but remember, since the qaf has got the jism, but the letter after that has got the tashdeed, you're going to join the lam with the letter that's more powerful, and a tashdeed letter is always powerful. So you will always ignore the jism if the letter after that has got a tashdeed. So can you join the lam with the ku for me, please? Loku. Very nice. So loku, you're putting pressure on the calf. Very nice. And you're fully getting rid of that calf. This one here, calf sucking. You're fully getting rid of that one. And in the end, we're saying lukum. And that is because... Um, we're in the end joining it with the mean. Yes? So if we go through that again, Nakh lukum. Nakh lukum. Very nice. Just remember to put that pressure, yeah? Um, let's just look at the next example. You, there is an alif with a kasra underneath. Yeah? How will we say it? In. Yeah, and now we're joining it to the Ra, Sakin. Um, so if we join the Alif with this Kasla underneath to the Ra, Sakin, um, how will we join it? Ir. Ir. Perfect. Um, if you join the Ka 
Okay, now you tell me before we join, which letter will the calf join to? The meme. Well done, because the meme has got what? What's the meme got on top? Shutter. Well done. Yep, it's got a tashtid or it's got a shadda on top. And we know the letter with a tashtid or a shadda is more powerful. And so that's why we will ignore, um, uh, we will get rid of the shadda letter. Sorry, we'll get rid of the jism, but we're joining it to the shadda letter. So how will we join the kaf and the ma together? Mushadda. Gamma. Very nice. And we will put a lot of pressure and emphasis on that, okay? So... Just finish this example off for me and then we'll go through a run through. Okay, well done. So you said kamma very nicely because we put a pressure on it. Just remember, ah, na. Okay, so ah, just for one second, that sound comes from your throat, the sound of an ayin. And na, we're elongating it for two seconds. Okay, um, before we go through the run through, co host, you have an announcement to make. Yeah, there is a lot of disturbance at the moment with the video. They, they just keep um, doing the mic mic on and uh, video on as well. Okay. So can we please make sure that everyone keeps their videos off? And um, yeah, your video should have a red line across it. Okay. The video icon. Okay, Jazakallah co-host. Okay, um, so um, if we just go through this example together, we're going to say, Okay, just remember, try not to say Anna because you're not joining the Ayn to the Noon. The Noon hasn't got the Jazam or the Shteed. You just say, Anna. Anna. Very nice. Jazakallah, Jazakallah for your time. Um, may I please have another student on the mic, co-host? Yes, we can have uh, G1060. Yeah, G160. G1060. Okay, G1060. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? I'm going to Allah Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, so we just got these two examples left because this was was a this one was a big one. That's why I gave this last one. I'm just giving you two examples, right? Because the first one is longer. If you go through this example together now, um, there is a fa with a fata, so we're saying fa, a lam with a um fata and a mim mushadad. How will you join the lam and the mim mushadad together? Wama. Very nice. So you very nicely elongated the meme as well for two seconds because you knew there was a blank lip. So if you just repeat after me one second. Falamma. Falamma. Very nice. And you've got a, an alif with a fatha and a tha with a jism. So when we join it together, we'll say ath. Very nice. There is a qaf with a fatha. How will we say that? Very nice. Qala. But just remember now, there is a ta with a jism, and the letter with a tashtid is always more. What is it more? Powerful. 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 Very nice. So now we're getting rid of the letter with the jism because we know the lam is going to join to the letter that's more powerful. How will you join these two letters together? Zadda. Very nice. And um, just finish this example off for me, please. Very nice. Very nicely recited. And you gave that thick sound to Allah's name as well. So if we just go through this together one second. Yeah, just remember that far sound, you get your the tip of your tongue, tongue and you just put it behind the top teeth of yours. Okay, so just say. Ladda. Ladda. Awallah. Awallah. Very nice. And you know that no sound of the ta was given. That letter was purely just joined to the dal because the dal is the letter that's got the shteed. 
And if we just go to the last example here, um, you've got a ra with a fatha and a blank lift. So we will elongate it for how many seconds? It was one, one second. Okay, we've got a blank lift. That means you elongate it for two seconds, yeah? Very nice. Okay. So um, now you're joining the vowel with the tu because tu is the letter that's got the, the ta mushaddad is the letter that's got the tashdid on top, yeah? Just remember that jism is now weak in front of the mushaddad letter. So when we join the va to, uh, to the ta mushaddad, how do we do that? What tu? Very nice. And now join the uh, ta mushaddad to the noon mushaddad? What tu na? Very nice. That was very nicely recited. Jazakallah for your time. Jazakallah. Take care. Lafiz. Okay, so that was the le um, lesson today, everyone. I know it might be a bit confusing for everyone because it's a new new rule you've learned. Remember, this rule is called Idram Kamil. Okay? Idram Kamil, where you fully ignore the letter or you give no nasal sound when there is a noon sakin or tanbeen. These last few examples that we just looked at, you know... There was no noon sakin or tanween involved in it. But we just wanted to show you how even if there is, is any random letter that's got a tashtid on top, any random letter with a tashtid, if that letter after has got, if the letter after that letter has got a tashtid on top, you will fully ignore the letter that had the jism. Why? Because the tashtid is more powerful. So it's not always just with the noon. You need to think of examples where there is a jism, but the letter after has got a tashtid. And so it's the tashtid that takes over. Okay. So let's just quickly run through um, your homework. Um, it should come up in a second. Perfect, here we are. So what we went through today was assimilation, also known as, um, also the first part we went through was idram. Assimilation is also known as, sorry, idram kamil is what we went through today. And assimilation is also known as idram in Arabic. Um, your homework is to practice these exercises that we went through today. So please make sure that you do that and um, practice as much as you can. And now before we finish the class, may I please have a student on the mic co-host? Yes, we can have G1042. G1042, assalamu alaikum. G1042, assalamu alaikum. Assalamu How are you today? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Can you please recite this closing prayer for me? Tika. Um, okay, do you want to repeat after me? Allah. G. Okay, let's repeat after me. Allah. Allah. Humar. Humar. Hamni. Hummy. Bill Kura. Bill Kura. Bill Azim. Bill Azim. Very nice. Very nice. You recited. Can you recite the prayer for me? The translation of it, please. Oh, Allah, have mercy on me through the Quran, the great. Jazakallah. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, guys, so that's about it for today's class. Jazakumullah to everyone who made it here today. Hello. As Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. Okay, is there, is there a question someone just said? No, okay, it must have just been me. Okay, Jazakumullah to everyone who came today, and I hope this lesson was beneficial for everyone. Make sure to do the homework. And again, if there are any inquiries, questions or issues, you can always email us at the um, email um, we just sent. Uh, okay, so rather um, apart from this, take care of yourselves and inshallah, we hope to see you in um, another meeting, in another class soon, inshallah. Take care then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.